crabs need a buddy? Did yours have one? In this video, we will bring you through the process of introducing your new crab to its new tank. Introducing your new hermit crab brings a lot of stress upon its shoulders, and it is our job to help relieve this anxiety that they bear. In this video, we are going to introduce you a few tips on how to properly transfer your hermit crab into its new upcoming life. First of all, you need to make sure that the tank that you are going to be introducing your crab to is ready and prepared for it to move in. One thing you need to do in advance is to first make sure that your tank has the ability to hold your new crab or crab. It is recommended that you have one crab per 10 gallons, not including a topper. What we are really counting is the amount of substrate for your crabs to molt without being disturbed. Also, you do not want your hermit crab or crabs to feel cramped. Make sure you have enough space for each of them to have their own hiding area. They do not always want to be around each other. Tidy up the tank like you would want your hotel room to be tidied up when you have arrived. If you are introducing a new crab straight from a store or a souvenir shop, one thing that we might highly recommend you to do is to begin them in an isolation tank. This is a tank that will begin them off and give them some time to rest and molt. Remember to keep the tank at the right temperature and the right humidity, beginning at the same as the store and slowly raising it to the right amount. Make sure to be watching for our new video on this topic. Hermit crabs need to be put in an isolation tank to overcome the stress of change. However, they do not always make it. Occasionally, they will become too stressed and die. Another thing that we normally do and did with our recent hermit crabs is dip them in your new tank's fresh water. We would recommend that you dip all of your hermit crabs in the water, however if some are molting, make sure not to disturb them. It will give them all the same scent and there will be less of a chance of fighting between crabs. Then add the crabs and make sure to observe them in case they attack or are harmed by any of the other hermit crabs. Check this out. If your hermit crabs are not getting long, first try dipping them in the water. If that does not work, here are some other recommendations. One, are they the same species? You want each of your hermit crabs to have another crab of the same species in the tank. For example, if you are introducing a purple pincher, make sure that there's another purple pincher for it to feel safe around. Two, are your crabs the same size? Some of your larger crabs may pick on new small ones and even to the point where they force them out of their shell. They may examine the new crab, but watch for any signs of them trying to harm the crab in the tank. One last thing to remember when introducing your hermit crabs is PPS, or post-purchase syndrome. Crabs have to go through a lot of stress before being purchased and do not always make it. Make sure to care as much for your new crab as possible. Welcome it as your new family member. If you like this video and want to see more, please subscribe. Remember to watch for our video coming out next Wednesday. See you then.